Hey everyone, I'm Nick de la Torre with Awaken Catholic and welcome to Awaken the Word. Today we're reading from the Gospel according to John. Very truly, I tell you, you will weep and mourn, but the world will rejoice. You will have pain, but your pain will turn into joy. When a woman is in labor, she has pain because her hour has come. But when her child is born, she no longer remembers the anguish because of the joy of having brought a human being into the world. So you have pain now, but I will see you again, and your hearts will rejoice, and no one will take your joy from you. On that day you will ask nothing of me. Very truly I tell you, if you ask anything of the Father in my name, he will give it to you. I don't know if you're anything like me, but my natural, unvirtuous inclination is to avoid struggle, is to avoid discomfort, is to avoid pain. In today's passage, though, we are hearing a message that says pain and struggle, the challenges, that is what brings the better outcome. And this is a difficult message, not necessarily to hear because we hear this message all the time and it is commonly understood. You know the phrase, no pain, no gain, right? However, what's difficult is living this out and putting it into practice consistently across the board in all areas of our lives. It's not like we don't understand that to get a degree you have to go through the struggle of going to school, going to university or whatever it is. It's not like we don't understand that you can't get big muscles without going to the gym consistently and having a good workout regimen and a good dietary regimen. It's not that we don't understand these things. But when we're faced with life's biggest challenges, for example, a marriage that is struggling, when a husband and a wife are struggling to understand how to keep their commitment to each other. As we're seeing in today's world, by and large, a huge majority of people, if not at least something like 50% of marriages, end in divorce. They have a really tough time understanding how to navigate that struggle to come out on the other side with a happier, healthier marriage. Not to mention keeping the marriage covenant. In another example, perhaps you or someone you know has struggled with a particular type of sin consistently and they're just hoping that God will snap his fingers and heal them of that sin. But there is a struggle there that is good. It helps us to grow in virtue. It helps us to grow in spiritual strength. Whatever the struggles are that you are facing or might face in the future, today's passage is encouraging you, encouraging all of us to stick through it, trust in God to provide you with the grace, the strength that you need to get to the other side and have the blessings that await you on that other side. I have been Nick, this has been Awaken the Word, and before you go, I just need you to know that Jesus loves you. Peace. Thank you for tuning in to Awaken the Word.